Shalom Israel to the 12 tribes uh, scattered around the world. Uh, this video is for you um, and I just want to discuss uh, something quickly. Uh, we have a young man here by the name of Sebastian Gamacha and he has come out uh, 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 in, a, in a very strange attire and he's got here a, a, a men's suit on one side and a, a woman's dress on the one side. Now, let us uh, read the scriptures and see what the scripture has to say in regards to what this young man has done. Uh, Deuteronomy 22 verse 5, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What is it that the woman should not wear that pertains unto a man? Uh, your, your trousers, your pants. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. A man should not cross dress. You can't dress in a woman's skirt. You can't dress in a in a, in a woman's dress if you're a man for all that do so are abomination unto the lord thy god now so the young man is displaying here what we call a split personality and this is a very uh, a, a big and aggressive agenda that's being pushed by america hollywood and and and, and you know the western world is pushing this uh, uh mindset this behavior uh, to the entire world uh, it's a split personality it's 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 a uh, mind confusion that's why america is called uh, uh, babylon uh, america the, the land of confusion but also if you read the scriptures america is also called spiritual sodom and egypt why are these called spiritual sodom in egypt because they are the capital of homosexuality they are the capital of lesbianism they are the capital of transgenderism they are pushing this ideology around the world in the name of democracy in the name of freedom of choice in the name of freedom of expression now so this is a danger uh, so uh, is Paul warned us of this uh, uh, philosophy being pushed to us and, and he w gave us a warning in uh, Second Colossians chapter 2 verse 8. Uh, so we're going to read that quickly because um, we have to live by every word that comes out of the Most High. So uh, Colossians 2 verse 8, beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit so what is the philosophy that has been pushed to you and me the philosophy of democracy the philosophy of liberalism where you are where any idea goes where anything goes and anything is protected by law it's like a, they say it's a right and they put a law to protect that and but it's seen according to the most high so so beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of man how wait, what why is paul saying after the tradition of man because we know homosexuality was a big culture in greece uh old men had uh, uh um, liaisons or relationships with uh young men it was it was a known uh, uh culture in babylon it was a known culture in babylon uh, after the rudiments of the world and not after christ so no so what did christ do christ lived by the laws of the most high that's why he said um he 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 only says and does what his father tells him to do so he lived by the commandments of, of, of the law or of the most high so you and me are supposed to live by the commandments of the most high because sebastian says he is a christian but a christian has to live by every word but that the most high taught we are have to be followers of christ that's what a christian is and in christ followed the laws of, of of elohim now but also let us let us be very careful here of the subtlety of what this young man has done because at the very same day or on this very same day that he posted this or maybe a day after or on the same day there was an event that was taking place over across uh, in, in america called the met gala so at, at this gala we people dress up in all manner of uh of of dressings and we had this young man by the name of michael uri who came up dressing the very same way that sebastian is dressed he had a suit on one side uh, on his left side and he had a dress 
on, on, on his right hand side. Yeah, that's, this is exactly what Sebastian has mimicked. Some of you might, will, will be um, fooled by what he said when he was asked because he said he, he has been influenced by Jesus Christ. Uh, because Christ dressed in robes. That's what he said. But that is a lie. He's actually following these Edomites over in America. This is the way they are dressing. He's pushing an agenda to you. He's not pushing uh, the laws of, 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 of the scriptures. He's not pushing Christ. He's not putting Christ ahead. He's actually pushing a tradition of man. He's actually pushing a culture, a, a Greek or Roman culture and he's pushing it to you and he's pushing it to our children. We have to protect our children. We have to teach our children the right way, not what Sebastian is trying to teach you. So in a way, he's trying to teach you uh, a, a transgenderism. He's a confused young man, a split mind, split personality. And that's what Hollywood is pushing uh, uh, through television, is pushing through movies. They're pushing this through videos and, and so forth. So be careful, be careful, be careful. So we have to watch out uh, for these uh, uh, false uh, teachers of the law. But now let us read a scripture quickly and, and see what the Most High has to say about such uh, 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 people as Sebastian. Uh, Matthew chapter 7, verse 15 to 20, um, you will know them by their fruits. That's the title of this uh, uh, short uh, scripture. Uh, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. Because we know a lot of these gospel musicians are not really teaching Christ. They're not really singing for the Most High. That's why when you read the book of Amos, chapter 5, verse 18, the Most High rejects uh, 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 all this music. He rejects it because it, it's really not about him. Uh, when you read the scriptures in, Meth, in Amos, chapter 5, um, it, it talks about... Um, uh, when let me just have a quick read there. Amos chapter 5, verse 23. Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melody of thy uh, vials. So the Most High does not like this music. It's not his, because a lot of these musicians are wolves in sheep's clothing. They are after money. Now, as, as you can see, this young man is pushing a fashion trend and is using the platform of gospel artists to, 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 um, to push his clothing line to you. But in pushing that clothing line to you, he's pushing to you a wicked philosophy of cross-dressing, of transgenderism. Now, let's keep going. Verse 16, you will know them by their fruit. So that's the fruit that he has produced. He's not producing the fruit of the Most High. Because when you're producing the fruit of, fruit of the Most High, you will dress right. You will dress correctly. Now, do, uh, uh, do men gather grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? So if you sow an orange seed, are you going to get an apple? If you sow an apple, are you going to get an orange? No. Even so, every good, every good tree bears good fruit. This is not good fruit. This is not how you should dress. The scriptures are very clear on how we should dress. And, 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 the, and the commandment is, is in Deuteronomy 22 verse 5. Now, let's keep going. But a bad tree bears bad fruit. So, if you were confused by this young man, he says he's a Christian, but obviously he's behaving a different way. It's showing that inwardly, what is his spirit? What is in him? It's not the word of God. It's not the ways of the Most High. Let's keep going. A good tree cannot bear good, bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. So if, if he's putting in him the scriptures of the Most High, he will bear good fruit. He will speak like the Most High. He will teach what the Most High teaches. He will live the way the Most High recommends. Now, and every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. So Sebastian is in danger of being cut down and thrown into the fire. And what is this talking about? He is going to hell if he does not repent. So the scriptures in Revelations 18 and 4 command me and you 
this way to come out of here my people come out of who come out of babylon come out of the babylonian ways come out of the greek or roman ways come out of the edomite ways and follow after christ therefore by their fruits you will know them so you will know who is of christ and who is not and by their fruits you will know them this is not the fruit of the laws of the most high and where have we also seen this because we've seen a similar artist a gospel artist doing the same thing by the name of Kirk Franklin. He has come out uh, at one point, I think it was at the Academy Awards or Oscars or something. He was singing last year and and, uh, and he came out uh, in, a, in a red dress uh, underneath a, a, a black suit. Now, a lot of people are very confused by this, but do not be confused anymore because um, they uh, now there are uh, there are some people that there are some of us that will come out and tell you what's really happening out there why because that is what watchmen are supposed to do according to ezekiel chapter 4 they sh they, sh they are watchmen watching over the children of israel you too can become a watchman you read the scriptures rebuke your brother rebuke your sister if you see them breaking the laws of the most high be a watchman of the most high as you can see Kirk franklin has decided to uh, uh, turn himself into this uh, uh, feminine looking man putting on lipstick uh, getting dressed uh, in a, in women's clothing in in, his, in the same way that sebastian is doing so sebastian has got people that are showing him the way and he wants to push the same way to you reject it reject it reject it thank you